Parks playback, here we go. On Monday, this replay could be in slow motion. Like one of those video montages in Baywatch. And it's the number eight saddle towel. Beach Bandit draws away late for the score. Jockey Angel Castillo was looking at a map through the stretch. Let's go here. No, let's go there. No, like a well-skilled cartographer. He drops over to the rail and Cartouche gets up in time. This was a big time race and some class relief. The big horse tips towards the outside and passes rivals late. Ron Dandy trains the mare who was ridden by Edwin Rivera. Her name is Lula's Roadrunner. Me, me. Tuesday action. Hey, Ma, meatloaf. Ma, the meatloaf. You want to stay for some meatloaf? All right, let's get some meatloaf. Captain Chaz. He's doing his thing as he holds off all rivals trying to crash the party. America's pastime stables with the baseball inspired silks and it's a long drive through the stretch to deep stretch. He's going, going way up top. Distract and attack is gone. Rounds all the turns in dominating style. Time for Wednesday, Starship Rogue. Sounds like the next Star Wars movie. The Force is strong with this one. Courtney Gillardo with a 30 to one upset. Watch our interview with the young Jedi on our YouTube channel. Hit subscribe. Grammar Police, it was Cassius King, comma, LC Racing, comma, Trainer Butch Reed, comma, Jockey Frankie Pennington, comma, and a beautiful debut by the son by Empire Maker. That was like five commas, but three comma Glenn might be a three-year-old to keep your eye on. And in what was the race of the week, three horses in the stretch, Ruby Blue, Divine Miracle, and Skippin' on Orchard. An absolute throwdown in the stretch with top jockeys Ruben Silvera, Frankie Pennington, and Kendra Carmouche. Skippin' on Orchard in the final jump for trainer Howard. Everyone calls him Roger Brown. Have a great week.